Hello and welcome. We're logging today for the Friday the 11th of August and it potentially is going to be Footy's Team 4. Um, we've not seen, EA haven't dropped anything into the game just to say this is happening on this Friday, but given the way that they've done it over the last few weeks, it, there's a strong chance. But we'll have a look. I'm sure something will be um, highlighted within the game anyway. But as you can see, the best of batch two on the right-hand side, team of the years are the best ones. I've had a couple of them so far, so very lucky with that. I got a Courtois and I got a, a Virgil van Dijk as well. So, let's see if we're going to get a splash screen or any sort of information on the way in. Let's have a look. Welcome to, yep, yeah, welcome to Footy's Week 4. Join us in looking back at the most some of the most iconic cover stars the game has ever had with more cover star icons. Cover star icons will not be available in packs and will be released via SBCs and objectives only. Don't miss the footage draft of draft objective launching today. We like a draft objective and earn player and pack rewards. Get started with a free draft token and an 85 by 10 player pack and 1500 foot champs qualification points. That sounds like a good start to the to the day for me. Uh, I sold some. Oh no, I've just transferred targeted people. So let's get rid of that. Let's put them back up. And let's go over to the store to see what we were getting. There is a so a free eighty five by ten is a nice way to start the content for today. What we get beyond that is up to EA whether they've whether Footies Team Four is better than the other Footies ones. We will see. We'll have a look. And if assuming they tell us what's in the packs, then we'll we'll have a look at that. So this draft pack is going to be that Travakowski? Trav no, it's the other one. Cool, so he's going to go down. Let's see if any of these are tradable. So assuming maybe we've got one cover star as an icon, one cover, sorry, one cover star icon as an SBC, one cover star icon as an objective. We'll have a look. But we're going to open the 85 by 10 first. Naturally, it's there, it's free, we're going to open it. And we get a team of the year, no way. And it's going to be Courtois again, no way. Ah, uh, I mean, always happy to see that type of blue card, but it is going to be a, an untradable duplicate. So, I mean, that's pretty good. A 96, a 90, two 89s, 88s. Yeah, can't fault that. So, Courtois, Kane... Cruz and Martinez are the ones. I mean, that's a free pack. I'm not going to complain about a free pack at all. So, what do we have in objectives today? Well, there's our first one. He is cover star icon Paul Scholes. Five foot seven. He has a five star weak foot, which is always a good thing. All the midfield positions centre mid, centre defensive mid, centre attacking mid. Unsurprisingly, perfect shot power, perfect long shots, perfect volleys, because they were basically the things that Paul Scholes were known for. And I am not surprised at all to see slide tackles down to 70. That is his lowest stat by... He's better at jumping and heading than slide tackling, which, which, which highlights that. So he was the cover star of 2001 FIFA. And, yeah, 718 appearances from Man United in 20 years. He does dive into tackles. He has no discernible traits, which is not great, but it's it's a very good card. I mean, I would probably put an engine on to boost that dribbling, the agility, the balance, put the pace up to 97, 97, and just max out that passing. Assuming I pay him in an attacking role, if I was going like a cam or a, a, a centre defensive or a centre midfielder role, maybe even an anchor to boost that defending up a little bit more, boost the pace up a little bit more, top up their physicals. Because otherwise he's really good. So what is it going to be for him? It says 12 goals using players from England in squad battles and semi-pro. Th score three goals using Man United players. This is three goals using a through ball in score battles again. Score and assist 
With midfield in two separate matches and then, yeah, okay, cool. Win 10 matches with semi-pro difficulty squad battles with three English players. So English players and Man United players, easy there. And 300 XP for that one part as well. Footy tweak, footy draft is here. Ooh, Gakpo for the total reward. A 95 left wing or left mid or striker Gakpo with five star skill moves. Finesse and outfoot shine the outside of foot shot trait. How many times have I said that over the over the game cycle so far? And yeah, 95 rated cards, lots of high numbers, naturally. That's a good SPC. There's gonna be I've got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of content there today. So draft token pack for playing one. Play two for an 83 double. Carlson, who had a team of the year, didn't he? Team of the season. That dribbling's really nice. That physicals are really nice as well. Defensively, not bothered. Passing, could do with a boost. Maybe a Hawk on him, or maybe a Marksman. Left mid, left wing, five-star skill moves. He'll go down well. 383's there. Which league is that? Portugal. Portugal, yeah. Adelan Santos. I mean, Brazilian will help the links. He's six foot four. Very fast, very agile, decent agility all over the shop. Really good defending, really good physicality. That's a really nice card as well. And it's basically just free for playing draft games. Win three for an 84. And then win five for that. Win 10. Oh, this is the online bit. So, Delaney is an online reward. I can live without that card. And then win 20 for 585s and Gakpo. I mean, it's still pretty good off offline rewards, which is the one I play. I leave the online stuff for other people. I'm not going to bother with that. So, that's, that's a chunk of content there in the um, objective section. Got nothing in master, uh, nothing sees in progress, and we might have something in milestones. Nothing new. Anything in foundations, nothing new in foundations. So, I'm assuming we're going to have some SPCs as well. Oh, that is. Marcus Trente is one of my favourite little cards for playing with in FIFA. And to see a 97 rated version of him as an SBC is brilliant. Really good. That's brilliant. Okay, I'm happy. Today's officially a good FIFA day. That is brilliant. I don't care what the price is. I'm doing this all day long. Yep, absolutely fine with me. 987, 88, that's fine. I'm having that player in my squad not before too long then we've got the normal stuff we've got the daily silver bronze ones the footies challenge which is going to be the 80 rated squad again is it no clubs max five players from the same league minimum three players from the same country max four so is this just a just a well i could do let's do spanish i reckon I may not have enough for Spanish, but we'll try it. The problem is going to be getting the same club. Hmm. Where are we going to go for clubs here? He was the same as my keeper. And we could put him in and him in, maybe? We'll figure out later on. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it first time by a long shot just because five clubs means let's go back in and put him in. Oh, that's a different one. He's over there. Who's up top? And I haven't got enough duplication, have I? Eight clubs. Five in the same region, nine of things. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. That's a starting point. Essentially, you can pick one league and just go from there, which is easier. We have a 37-day... Th He's going to be a 
absolutely a beast of a player to play with. Lots of positions, five star, five star. Perfect strength, perfect aggression, perfect shot power, really good numbers elsewhere. Everything is 90 plus apart from crossing and his defensive stats. Cover star for 06, 07, 08, 09, 010, 11 and 12. Making him the longest serving cover star in FIFA history. That's not a surprise. Outside of foot shot trait makes sense. And the shooting stats make a lot of sense as well. That is a mad card. It's going to be mad expensive. Silver and bronze, no surprise. Then we start on an 88. 88, 89, 90. This could be the highest. We're going to have a 93 score, don't we? 91, 91, 91, 92. Ah, oh, just up to, we stop at 92. Okay. That's huge as well. We've got 84 times 30. This is back. We did this before. We'll probably end up doing it again, to be honest. 85 by 10. Again, the three repeatable that we've had before. Actually, let's flick through this properly. Players. Lorente is new. That's it. That's the only new one we got today. Upgrades. 80 plus is standard. Bronze and silver are the repeated ones. 84 plus times 30 is back, but we it's a repeated refreshed one. 85 by 10 is re back again. And all the other ones... Oh, this is new, obviously. It's, it's been there before. Is this new? That's not new, I don't think. With this much, at this stage of game, with this much content, it's just a lot of stuff. This could potentially be new. 84 and an 86 for team of season. Oh, my word. Team of season or team of season moments. Shapeshifters or shapeshifters premium from any of the teams. Footies or premium footies, team 1s, 2, 3 or 4. All rated 90 over, excluding award winner shapeshifter icons and footies heroes. That's mad. Draft token should be an 81 rated squad again. Yep, that makes sense. Tradable team of the week, team of season moments or whatnot. So is this... That's cheaper than the other one then. So team of season or team of season moments is 84, 85. And the other one back here is 84, 86. <sighs> And then challenges, we've got the daily one, which we looked at before. Icon, we've got the Rooney. Always remember, do your silver and your bronze ones here. Always do them. And then the normal stuff here. So we're going to have a look at some of the new ones. And there are some mad cards. I'm going to start with the one that everybody's going to want and everybody's going to try and get. It's not a surprise. They've done the other ones before. Yes, it's a 99 rated Kylian Mbappe. Five star, five star, high low work rates, left wing as well as striker. He has 99s coming out of his ears. Three in the shooting section, two in the pace, five in the dribbling, and one in the physical. That is going to be a really good card. And it's 99 rated as well. That's huge. And you can tell, look, he's got five mad cards at the top. Team of season award winner. Team of the Year, Team of the Season, Foots, Champions, Tots, and then Footies. He's literally just... There's his 93 for Road to the World Cup. And another one there. Player of the Month. Foot Champs, Team of the Week, Player of the Month, and then his normal one at, 80, at 91. That's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. Then the next one we have is... Ninety-seven Jan or Black, so he becomes the highest-rated La Liga keeper, overtaking the Team of the Year um, Courtois, which you saw me pack earlier on. Comes for crosses, goalkeeping, long throw, solid player, a six foot two, decent card. Ninety-seven, it's ridiculous. Mad cards now. Um, and then another big one, which again, along with Lorente, I would love this card. A 97 David Alaba. I'd have to put... Oh, CDM or left back as well is 
even better with the options. Look at those 99s. I think I would have to put an engine on him. I know that's a standard response that I give most times. But the defending is so good already. Physicals are really good. But the, the dribbling, the balance, the agility would just help that a little bit more with the touch more. And the pace. The shooting, he's a defensive-minded player, so he's not the end of the world. Power free kick with 99 free kick accuracy and shot power up to 98. CDM or left back or centre back, all of them work for him. That's crazy. And then we have, where are we? The next highest one is is a Gravenbirch 96 rated card. CDM or centre mid. Five star skill moves. I mean, it's a, it's a com, compared to the Alaba that was a 97. This 96 is not disappointing, but it's a little. Just a level below. But it's still really good. The passing is always brilliant. The dri dribbling is really good. I don't know what card I'd put on that at all. Maybe an anchor? Defending. Physical, get the aggression up, get the pace up. And then our friend Aston Villa has got one as well. And 96, that's a bit of a flashback to the days when he was quite the player. Centre mid, left wing, cam or striker. Good positions there. Perfect curve, free kick accuracy, almost perfect stamina, agility, balance, ball control, dribbling, etc. Flare out, so it's a lovely card as well. Gakpo, we've seen. Ooh, the Lucio one is new. Let's have a look at that. Brazilian centre back. He'll be top here. That is a crazy card. 98 rated. I'd have to go engine again on that. Because you don't want to touch the physicals or the defending. The engine hits the dribbling where it needs to. Agility, balance, dribbling. Pace goes up to 95, 99 and the passing is almost perfect anyway. Power free kick, power header. Big player, big card. That's nice. And then because they've done Lucio, they've also done their other favourite hero. Which is this chap. 90s. As if the 90 wasn't good enough already. 96 Di Natale. Wing positions as well. 299 stats, but they're so high rated otherwise than that. That dribbling, 98 dribbling on him is... Going to be a tricky card to play against. Finesse, flair, outside of foot shot trait makes him even worse to play against. That's mad. And then the third hero they've done today is... Uh, where are we? Republic. A 95 rated Park Ji Sung. Left mid, right mid, centre mid, left wing... Lots of stats. Defensive awareness, stamina, perfect. As you would expect, he marks players out of the game at his peak. That's a really good card. I mean, there's so much content in there today, as you would have expected with it being footies week four. They're at the end. They're making things fun. They've taken the mickey out of Paul Scholes' uh, slide tackle. It's got the footies promo week four. Footies SPC, Javier Lorente, which I'm going back to because... I that's I'm just gonna use that card. I'm gonna change my team for him. He's gonna go in the midfield with Kante and just sit there. Big fan of that card and how he plays. We've got the eighty five by ten again, we've got the eighty seven plus player pick again. Eighty four times thirty is back. Eighty three plus shape shifter or footies player pick. And then the, the big one, well the big confusing one is ninety plus team of season shape shifters or footies player pick. We've got the normal footies daily SPC along with the Skulls objective, the Rooney SPC and the draft objective. That's a lot of content today. A lot of content for people to be getting busy with. They're worried this time of the year people are going to drop off not playing. But 
the icons and all the other SPCs are going to push the price of um, Team of the Weeks up and Team of Seasons up and things like that. So those will sell if you've got any of those on the transfer list. And yeah, I'm going to go and play some draft, do some upgrades, do some objectives, all the mad stuff that they do at this time now. And yeah, we'll see what we get out of some of these packs. I've got the Courtois so far. Other than that, yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah, I hope everybody's had a good Friday. I got the weekend ahead of us. Hopefully you've got some good plans ahead of you. I'm going to wish you all well with that, with your packs as well. If you do start playing some FIFA and I'll speak to you this time tomorrow for whatever this brings within the next 24 hours. Thank you very much and I'll see you later. Bye bye.